Salutations everyone, I'm the Ultimate Waterman Overlord and welcome back to If My Heart Had Wings. Here we are with the lovely older Amani. She's just loving us, she's smiling. I think we gave her food. And yeah, let's just get right back into this amazing visual novel. Oh yeah, we, we definitely gave her something to eat and I'm not sure what it was, but I'm guessing she loved it. She said it t this tastes good. Armani was wolfing, uh, wolf, wolfing, wolfing, down a nip, nipoli, past a lunchbox, and Katori and I both had a face that seemed to say, whoa, and looked on in amazement. Neapolitan, yeah. Why would we say, whoa? What, she's not allowed to eat food? What's wrong with you, Katori? Oh. Uh, she didn't know that when she was eating ice cream like a crazy idiot. She didn't know that when she was eating ice cream like a crazy idiot. I had the same reaction when I was uh, when I was watching her. Yeah. By the way, th uh, the thing that Amani was eating was the lunchbox that I had brought. Yeah, well done, mate. Um, as usual, the boarders hadn't eaten the breakfast I had made for them, so I packed it. I packed it as my lunch. Yeah, that's cool. I had made two lunch boxes. Okay, calm down. One was for me. Did you actually make one for her, really? Or Katori? Who did you make it for? As for the other one, I thought that if Katori was going to go to school, she might have found it difficult at lunchtime. So I was worried about her and brought another lunchbox. That's bullshit, but sure. We don't care about her, but sure. Um, that's why I was chasing her. Why don't we just give it to Kanako, you know? She's much better. Um, if she didn't need it, I thought that I might eat them both myself. Jesus Christ. Really, fucker. Um, but she ran she ran away before I could ask her. I'm guessing she's got her own lunch, right? Well, listen here, you can't actually eat the lunchbox, so be careful. Asked Amane, although she's uh, she'd already eaten most of it before asking. I've already eaten my one. Yeah, I just have a <laughs> I just had a backup one. Spare one just in case. Um, I was hungry during morning recess, so I had lunch early. You had lunch early? Look at this guy. Fucking hell, he should have had two lunches. Uh, relieved to hear my answer, Armani continues to enjoy the, the cold Neapolitan... Neapolitan? I don't know how... I don't even know if that's how you say it. Pasta. Well, I'm glad you like it. Uh, didn't you have anything to eat after I saw you yesterday? I only gave her one piece of bread. Yeah, the, the melon bread, which is pretty cool. Very nutritious, I heard. Um, Amani stopped moving her chopsticks and took a good look at my face. Uh, yes, that's me. Hello. How are you doing? It's me. You've only just realised? Yeah, I was I was concentrating on your fucking big titties yesterday. Wait, what? Stop. Uh, she really is weird. I don't know if she's weird. She just, like... She was concentrating, man. Yeah, and I expect, you know, something in return. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, she looked at me with eyes that sparkled like a little kid's. Um, if she were a dog, her tail would be definitely be... Her tail would definitely be wagging like crazy. Well, my tail's are uh, wagging like crazy. Stop. Stop. Well, you need to eat more. I counted on my fingers. Um, if there are 24 hours in a day, I'm not doing the maths. Fuck you, game. Do it for me. That's three days ago! Well, at least she actually eats food. Um, she, she recalls this, her, and her face looks like she's about to start drooling. I'll, I'm going to start drooling in a minute. Uh, why don't you eat? Are you on a diet? Are you on a diet? Are you serious? Look at her. Fuck off, mate. You you forget to eat. Okay. That makes sense. Sort of. Not really. Huh? Aren't you a genius, though? 
Amana replied with pride. I'd prefer it if she didn't compare it to when people forget uh, forget things because they're hungry. Yeah. Yeah, I'm assuming she's building the glider. Ah. Yep. Are you doing that here? Right, are you are you the only one in the club, by the way? Does that even count as a club if you're the only one in the club? I don't think it counts as a club. Soaring Club? I wasn't familiar with that name. You don't know what okay. What soaring? Okay, like sure. Joshua uh, flying a glider by riding the rising air, by by riding riding the rising air currents. I kind of get it, but on the other hand, I don't get it. He doesn't get it. Uh, so the game of the club is to make him fly a, a glider. Yeah, pretty much. So you got on it, So this garage is used for club activities after all. Yeah, but she, I I I'm betting like I, I don't want to bet all my money, but I bet some money. She's the only fucking person in the club, right? Even so, it's pretty spacious. Glider,飛行機みたいなものなんでしょ？自分で作れるものなの？ああ、作れるさ。それが人工物である以上、人に作れないものはないはずだが。Wait, are you saying you have the materials to make a fucking glider? Okay, sure. I have a feeling that's not what she asked. Uh, what she's asked, she's uh, sure. However, Amane answered the question in all seriousness. Wow, what, what, what a question. How do you make a glider? Well, that's a very probably complicated question. And I wonder if she's going to explain it all. Excuse me? You're going to make... You, okay. Hold on a moment. I said as Amane slurped up the last of the, of the Neapolitan... With extremely bad manners. Uh, wiping around her mouth with the tissue, she started rummaging through a desk, a desk, a desk drawer. What have you lost, Gail? What have you lost? Uh, peeking inside the drawer, somehow I got, I get the impression that Amani is is a typically disorganized person. Uh, rather than things being put away, it was more like they were stuffed in. She's found it. What's she got? Uh, the thing that Amane had taken out was a paper airplane construction kit made using cardboard. Okay, we're just going to make a small one. Not like an actually massive big fucker like this boy right here. Jesus Christ. <laughs> she just fucking gives it to you. Just like, make it, bitch. Make it. Um, without thinking, Katori and I looked at each other. Can we not look at her? She's a fucking demon. A hot demon, disabled demon, but she's still a demon. I feel that manufacturing a glider and making a paper airplane are completely different. <laughs> it looks at completely, hmm, spelling error, are uh, completely different things. Uh, but for now, I'll try doing as she says, yeah. Uh, using glue and a craft knife, in about 10 minutes we had finished the paper plane. It took you 10 minutes? Okay, sure. Well, at least Katori is all happy, and I just spilled I just spilt orange squash on me, so that's great. All done. Armani takes the plane that Katori had made and takes a good look. Well, I know Katori is a fucking master at making air, uh, paper airplanes. She's already made one. Uh, then she threw it, which <laughs> just like fucking kills someone with it. Um, the paper airplane floated gently as it flew and landed near the wall on the other side of the garage. And then she throws mine and it just fucking like dive bombs and just fucking blows up like, oh, you're just shit, mate. Like, thanks, Amane. Uh, K Katori seemed, uh, seems embarrassed at being, at being complimented. Oh, she's kind of cute like that. We'll give it. She's definitely a Sundere. She can't be a bitch, right? 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 <laughs> When the visual novels actually educate you, you think, well, what a good game, you know? What about gliders? Where do they, where do they fit in? 
Uh, paper airplanes and jumbo jets are the same. Ah, Gendi wa onaji. Tsubasa o tsukatte kuki ni ukabi hikou suru. I mean, she's not wrong. Uh, Katori and I both tilted our heads in, pu in puzzlement, really. Uh, we both had a, a skeptical look on our faces. I can't, I can't understand that a light paper airplane can fly by riding the wind, but it's hard to imagine that a giant hunk of metal can float in the sky on the same principle. Well, that's why it has jet engines, you fucking retard. Um, there must be some other method that allows it to fly. <laughs> Fuck you, you you're, you're a twat, but sure. Um, Amani goes to pick up the paper airplane that she had just flo uh, just thrown. これをよく見てほしい。君たちが知っている飛行機とこの紙飛行機、違いはどこにある? Uh, the size and the material? That, that's a good that's a good shout. 人が乗るかどうかも違うわ! That's a good shout, but also... Fair enough, you know, I was gonna say something, but then I realized that's not correct. そうだな。あとは、エンジンがあるかないかくらいか。yeah, well, thanks, Sherlock. 逆に言えば、その他は同じだ。そこに飛行の原理がある。一般的な飛行機は、だいたいこれと同じパーツからできている。まずは胴体。Yeah, the body, the wings, gun, cockpit.次に主翼。水平尾翼。it's a great lesson. It's, it's actually a great lesson. I'll admit it. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a shout, but it's not the same thing. 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 When she puts it like that, I guess she's right. Uh, I guess she's right. I'm, I've never paid that much attention to it, though. Yeah. ところで、飛行機がなぜ空気に浮くのか知っているかい揚力があるからよ。そうだ。揚力とは、流体の中にある翼に働く力のうち、流れの方向に対して垂直な成分のことを言う。Okay, thank you. I look baffled again, and Amani smiles a little and rephrases it. つまり、空気が翼を浮き上がらせようとする力のことだ。I don't think I'd be educated today, but apparently I am being educated today. 揚力はここ。主翼によって生み出される。翼に前から風が当たると、空気は翼の上と下に分かれて流れていくことになる。Okay, thank you. I can just imagine the wings cutting the air like a blade, yeah? この時、翼の上側と下側で、気流の速度に差が生じると、流れの速い側の圧力が下がるんだ。ベルヌイの定理ね! Amani nods. Uh, standing beside her, I'm a little freaked out as as she, as she so easily comes out of a word like Bernoulli. Mm, can I uh, maybe? What the hell is that? Yeah. Well, I've only been at the school for literally like two days, three days. I can't remember. How long have I been here? Oh, uh, we didn't learn that at my school. Well, your old school is shit, mate. Come on. Maybe. <laughs> だから飛行機の翼は上面の空気が速く流れるよう設計されている。上面側の圧力を下げるためだ。オッケー、サンキュー。そうすることで相対的に仮面の圧力が高まり空気が翼を持ち上げようとするんだ。あ、the so, that's uh, B Bernoulli's theorem. Amani nodded, uh, nodded as if to say yes. それともう一つ、翼の上面を流れた空気は、翼面によって下へ曲げられ、後方に吹き下ろしを生じさせる。As she explains, Amani is drawing a cross-section of a wing. According to that, an airplane's wings are flat at the bottom and the top is shaped like a mountain. So it seems like it is semi semi-circular. Yeah. Apparently, the air on the upper side flows along the raised curved surface and then bends to flow downwards. As for the question of why the air flows along the raised surface, it can only be said that this, that this, 
<laughs> this 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 didn't get translated correctly. It can only be said that this because of the nature of the air. Okay. This is because of the nature of the air. Or so it seem. この吹き下ろしはニュートンの第三法則によって同じだけの反作用を翼に与え情報に持ち上げようとする。Yeah. Uh, the reaction lifts up the wing. 重たいバスケットボールを地面に叩きつけようとしたら、体がふわーっと浮く感じがするでしょそれと同じことよ。Ah,、uh, does that mean that when the wing drops in the air, the reaction causes it to float? それら揚力が機体の重量を上回ったとき、飛行機は空を飛ぶことができる。Yeah? たとえそれが、総重量数百トンに及ぶジャンボ旅客機でもね。Uh, theoretically, that may, that may be so, but I still couldn't imagine how enough lift,、uh, lift, lift to cause a several hundred ton airplane to take off could be created. Nice translation again. However, airplanes do actually fly in the sky. <laughs> well done. Well done, mate. 揚力を生み出してくれるこの主翼は、飛行機が空に浮かぶために必要なパーツというわけだ。I don't know if I understand or not. <laughs> However, I understand that the main wings are the most important part. Well, yeah. 次に尾翼だが、垂直と水平と二つある。We're actually getting a full lesson here. Fuck me. Amazing. これらは空中で機体の姿勢を安定させるためについている。飛行機は空中に浮いているから、地面に立つ我々よりもいつだって不安定なんだ。Well, of course it's more unstable. まっすぐ上を向いてるのが垂直尾翼。横方向の動きを安定させる。主翼と同じ向きに横に伸びているのが水平尾翼。こっちは縦の動き。つまり頭の上げ下げを安定させてくれる。これがないと、紙飛行機もまっすぐには飛んでくれない。Yeah, exactly. That's true.I see. So that's why they have small wings on the tail. そしてボディ。The body!Say that again. そしてボディ。ここは飛ぶこととは直接関係がないな。Ah,、uh, but if you don't have this, there's nowhere,、uh, there's nowhere to attach the wings, yeah. 以上が飛行機の基本形。Okay, thank you for the lesson. これはずーっと昔、ライト兄弟の時代から変わらない。Uh, since that long ago? But the Wright brothers were the first people in the world to fly, an air,、uh, fly a plane, right? So nothing has changed since the very first one was made. Yeah. ライト兄弟は、動力を積んだ飛行機で飛んだ最初の人たちだ。グライダーは、それ以前から飛んでいたぞ。Yeah. I guess so. I was told that the White Brothers were the first to fly. No. 翼の役割を知りたければ、この紙飛行機で試してみるといい。例えば、そうだな。垂直尾翼を少し曲げて。それ。We. Ah,、uh, plane that mine through curved gently as it flew. さらに、主翼のここの部分を少し曲げれば。Uh, she bent the left and right main wing so that they twisted at the back.、Um, this time the, tr- the plane twisted as it flew. Hey, that's pretty interesting. Yeah.、Uh, seeing this, Katori started to adjust the tailplane on her own paper airplane. Look at that! And then she hits me in the face and kills me. Thank you, Katori.、Uh, full of confidence, Katori threw her pa-、uh, paper airplane. Whoa! Oh. I、um, did a beautiful loop, the loop before landing. Pretty nice. That's cool. It did, did a loop the loop. Ah, Katori and I both got really engrossed in adjusting the wings and playing around.、Uh, sometimes the paper airplanes displayed some mid air、uh, aerobatics, and other times they didn't fly at all and crashed into the ground. However, by trying it for ourselves, we were able to get a real understanding of the role of the wings. By just changing the shape of the wings a little, you can make them fly in many different ways. Yeah. 実際の飛行機には補助翼などの小さな翼がついている
、それらを調節することで、機体を操作するんだ。Okay, thank you. I'm a s h l y explain, the money moved to the side of,、uh, to the side of the garage. Uh, then she lovely, lovingly laid her ha- hand on the glider. She wants to fuck the glider. Wait, what? この h i s g l i d e r she wants to fuck the glider. 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 Um, this is just like the fantasies I envisioned as a kid.、Uh, the glider in front of me was the real thing, yeah. Oh,、uh, probably. We probably could make our own. But it doesn't have an engine. How does it fly? We just explained this, mate. She just explained it.、Uh, paper airplanes gain thrust by being thrown by people. By riding the wind, yeah. Uh, both I and Katori gaze at the white aircraft.、Uh, that, day we saw this, that day we saw this flying from Windmill Hill. Right in the wind. That expression expresses it so perfectly. The way it flew so smoothly and calmly. A m i n e nods happily. So, the Joshua Kiryu n o t e d o k o m a d e m m y a g a r Yeah, exactly. I guess Katori is interested in this because she is disabled. But it means most people are interested in flight because it's quite cool.、Uh, Katori, looked at the di- uh, uh, Katori looked at the aircraft with an expression of disbelief. I also couldn't imagine that this thing flying above the clouds. Have you been there? Above the clouds? I'm guessing she has.、うん、no? Aw.、Oh. Rip. Suddenly her mood drops. How, how long did it take you to make that, by the way? I really want to know. Uh, Katori and I react by exchanging glances. Rip. <laughs> so you mean? <laughs> well, we got a fucking daredevil here. She could have fucking died. <laughs> she laughed as she spoke, yeah. また作り直さないといけない。私は手先があまり器用じゃないからな。Well, lucky for you, I'm good with my hands. それと、一部のケーキが故障してるのも分かったんだが、代わりの部品が手に入らなくて。Yeah, I can, I, I can imagine getting your hands on the parts would be very difficult. 自分で作っちゃえばいいんじゃないの、uh, Katori said that so easily. At a school where things like this are taught, Uh, they have all the equipment you need to make anything from a screw to an aircraft, yeah. Amane, with a troubled look,、uh, look on her face, took some broken parts from a drawer. But that's sad. Uh, Katori and I gaze at the parts in the palm of Amani's hand. It certainly looks as、uh, it certainly looks it wouldn't be it certainly looks as it wouldn't be easy to make. Um, If it's the kind of thing that can be made in the town factory, there might be something that can be done about it. Amani's eyes light up as I, as I quietly mumble. Ah,、uh, well, I don't know until I ask, but I know someone like that. Is it Anchan? Tanome, so they got night to hunt on your commander. Okay, I'll try, I'll try asking next time I see him. Can, can I borrow this? Arigato, Kiminisku, I didn't know I could it is Sando Meda. Are we getting a hug? Please tell me she hugged me. Come on. Yes, push, hug. 
we're winning. Winning at life. Whoa! Uh, suddenly she gives me a full, a full on hug. And we're even cheek to cheek. Well, lucky for you. Lucky you. Arigato. Arigato. And he's just like, well, <laughs> here comes Bona. Uh, uh, you can thank me once I've actually got it, yeah. So yeah, I did give her food as well, so that's I'll take the hugs for the food. More hugs! Yes. More hugs! Fuck yes! No, that's enough! Seriously! Ayoi! Ayoi! Don't be a gay boy! I'm joking. I mean, I'm not joking. It's a bit homophobic. But don't accept the hugs, you little you little cunt. Accept the hugs. Don't be like fucking Messiah. Is it Messiah? I don't know. Don't don't be like someone. Don't be like them bad people in visual novels. So yeah, fucking hug her. I mean, please. <laughs> I think Katori wants the hugs, actually. She's fucking lesbian. I'm joking. She might be a lesbian, actually. Um, Katori was su sullenly glaring at me. I wonder if this will really fly. <laughs> of course it will fly. What do you mean? Your glider's her glider's? What do you mean? Uh, Katori and I both gazed at the glider with the same look on our faces. We we already saw it fly. I mean, it's kind of broken now, but, you know, we saw it fly. What are you going to say? Are you say are you, don't say something you're going to regret. Can we join the club? Because we know that you're the only one in the club. Let us in the club. Uh, the bell rings, interrupting Amane. That is, that's a cock block. That's, that's a cock block if I've ever seen one. It's not even a clock block, it's just actual bullshit, but sure. Amane flinches in surprise and quickly turns her back to us. Um, if we're interested, what, what is it? I've actually just been cock blocked by a fucking bell. I don't believe it. Uh, somehow it seems she's avoiding something, yeah. Amane? What? Uh, can I come and see you again? Well, fucking, fucking he's, he's going for it. Right in there with the questions. What a guy. Stop. <laughs> Come anytime. Stop. That's too sexual. I have to bring her those parts as well. Yeah, and, and you have to bring her lunch, you know? No, we don't want the wheelchair girl. Don't 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 let her come here. Stop. With stop saying come again. Stop. <laughs> As Katori nods, Amani grins as she uh, sh as she nods back. Oh, she's really beautiful, but her smile somehow makes her look like a little kid. Stop saying little kid, you fucking twat. All right, shall we go back to the classroom? Yeah, but not together. <laughs> I started pushing Katori's wheelchair and decided and decided to start walking. What you just just fucking pushing her? You're not allowed to do that, mate. <laughs> You're coming to my sex dungeon. Oh, uh, the classroom, of course. Oh, yeah, she did try and leave school. Oh, shit, look at that devil face. She's gonna fucking kill us. Um, yeah, she, she hasn't had lunch yet because we've just been talking about fucking uh, gliders and airplanes for the whole fucking lunchtime. Uh, you report you so. What, what, what a guy. Well, rip, wheelchair girl. I brought Katori with me against her wishes, and we returned to the classroom. I mean, you should at least let her eat lunch. You're kind of a twat, mate. <laughs> Aoi! Um, but yeah, I think we'll end this episode here. So yes, thank you everyone for watching If My Heart Had Wings. And I hope to see you in the next episode of If My Heart Had Wings, or in just another video in general. So if you want to, you can like, comment, subscribe and share if you really want to. And once again, thank you for watching and have a nice day. Yeah.